everybody. Welcome to the Glitter Pit. It's time. <laughs> Come on in. It's time for the Glitter Pit. Wednesday, you're supposed to be here. Come on in. All right. Let me turn my comments on. There we go. All right. I seen some of you guys here early today again. I didn't have as much time as I usually do, so. But I'm happy to see you guys get in there early and start chatting. Thank you. For those that don't recognize me, I'm Brian from Facebook. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Glad you made it over here. Where have you been? Seriously. Where have you been? You've been, like, on vacation? I love the little elephant. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited you like it. That elephant set was one of my first sets that I bought. I love it. Okay. I'm doing good. Thank you. Early birds. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and do an early bird glitter giveaway. Right. Let me get my goodie here. I got a couple goodies here. Let me give you guys these garden gems. You guys remember those? I think they were with that. Um, one of the stamp sets I'm giving you guys today too. So, all right. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh no, that was with the ocean thing, right? I think it was. All right. So let me get my noisemaker and can you guys hear me? All right. I got my mic on, so I'm good. It shows that it's working. All right. So let me go ahead and flip this over and then we'll go ahead and do an early bird glitter spinner. How's that? All right, these are the garden gems. These are up close. These are so pretty. Look at all the sparkle on them. Because it's the glitter pit, you know? We got to do something glittery. All right, so this is the deal. Everybody that comes in early, if you leave a comment or ask a question, whatever, chime in to conversations, whatever, leave a comment in the live stream. And I'm going to spin the comments, and then you're going to, I'm going to stop when the spinner stops. And then we're going to have a winner. So it's super easy. So I'm going to spin the comments. <laughs> so many of you guys here are so, so exciting. Thank you. Jean. Yay, Jean. Have you won a glitter pit before? Or the glitter giveaway or the glitter spinner? Have you ever won anything from me before? I don't think your name looks familiar. You might be a brand new winner. Are you a brand new person into the glitter pit? Yay! All right, so Jean, here's the thing. All you have to do is just email me here, dawn at the glitter pit dot com. <laughs> dawn at the glitter pit dot com. All right, so email me here, Jean, and give me your address. Do that before the end of the day. Because Richard's kidnapping me for the weekend. We're going away somewhere. So um, I'm pretty excited. So we're going to go on a little weekend getaway for Memorial Day weekend. But we'll be back by Monday. So everything will be good. But So email me here so I can get these out before Thursday for you. All right, Jean? Don't forget. Go to, my, go to your email. Do it right now. Just send me an email. Give me your address. And, you know, a little note that you won the Garden Gems. These are what those are. And then I will dress it and I'll drop it off on my way to the gym tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, all right? Congratulations. Yay. Woo-hoo. All right. Let's put this back up here. Yay, Jean. That's a good way to start the Wednesday, huh? All right. So in, your, in North Dakota... What kind of weather are you having out there? I mean, I'm telling you, everybody's having such crazy weather lately. I'm just happy it's not here. I mean, it's rainy here today, but I can handle the rain. I'm just waiting for summer to arrive. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in picture and picture. What do you say? And I'm, oh, wait, I can't do picture and picture yet because I got to do the, um, the glitter giveaway, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Wait. 
<laughs> I couldn't stop it. It was already in process. So I'll go ahead and do it now. So let's go ahead and do the glitter giveaway. Now this one, you have to go to my website, which is right here. Go to my website, dawnstampingthoughts.net, starting tomorrow for my two for Thursday. I have two videos posted on my website starting tomorrow. You go watch the videos, leave a comment, and you'll be entered to win one of these two stamp sets right here. Eden's Garden and Mischievous Mice. Now, you can still get this stamp set, I believe. It's in the mini catalog, but I'm going to give one away today. This is a hostess only item, mischievous mice, and it's really super cute. And then this is still current, but somehow I ended up with an, an extra one. So brand spanking new. And I think they're both cling mount. Yes, red rubber. So they will they will they will work with our clear mount stand or clear blocks. Okay. So go to my blog tomorrow, leave a comment, and you'll be entered to win one of these two stamp sets, all right? And then the winners will be announced next week, which we're going to announce this week's winners from last week. Let me go ahead and do that. That's what I was saying. I couldn't do the picture-in-picture -picture with this. All right, let's go ahead and take that one off. All right, so let me give you the drum roll. All right. Elizabeth and Dawn! Yay! Elizabeth and Dawn, you won the glitter giveaway from last week. Congratulations. Your stamp sets are in the mail. So exciting. And you, I, I don't remember which one because I did package them up, so I don't quite remember who got what. But those were the chicken and the chicken dies. Remember the, um, it's your, it's your birthday chick or, yeah. And then the chick dies. And then also the designer paper with the markers. Yay. Congratulations, ladies. Yay. All right. So now let me go ahead and put this in picture in picture. Now I think I don't need to bring anything back into the picture, right? Okay. Very good. So is everybody doing good today? Yay. It's time for fun in the glitter pit. Ah, oh, Renee, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much all right so let's just go over a couple announcements we have the newsletter which you guys should have already been signed up for this tells you when we're going live in the glitter pit at three o'clock i send this newsletter out about 2 30 on wednesday so this way you'll get a reminder hey we got 30 minutes go grab a drink get on the computer get on your phone whatever you're doing on whatever tablet whatever device and then also in the newsletter, you guys get a sneak peek of what we're making with the PDF. And then also a bonus tutorial, which is super cute, which I'll give you a little sneak peek. This is the card. So cute with the cute little elephant. So that's the extra PDF or the bonus PDF for the week number four for, for May. And then also you're going to um, get all the updates and everything that's going on for the Stampin' World, you know, so sign up. It's really super easy. All you have to do, let me get this off here. Hi. Hi, Nicole. How exciting. Any ideas where you'll be going? Richard's such a good hubby. I kind of have an idea, but I don't want to spoil it. Because <laughs> I like surprises too. So sign up with the newsletter. Use your cell phone. Text the one glitter to 22828. And then enter your email address. It will send a message back saying enter the email address that you want to be entered for. And then enter the email address, then hit send. And then it should pop back and say you're all set. And that's super easy and you're done. Then next Wednesday, you'll get the email. All right. And then we still have the starter kit promotion going on. $99. You get a, everything in the starter kit. You get to pick $125 with the product. Plus, you're getting over $66 in in-color goodies, like the ink pads. You'll get the in-color cardstock assortment pack. You get the designer paper and some grid paper. So, pretty awesome starter kit. So, that ends at the end of the month, which is what? That's May 31st, right? Yep. 
And then this is the PDF for the project we're making today. This is also listed down below in the description box. And it's a really, really cute card. Let me see where my card is. Let me show you what this card looks like. So you can take any card. So I brought a couple cards over here to show you. You can take, now this is my card sketch from this last Monday. This is card sketch number 232, I believe. Isn't it pretty, all the yellow? Bright and cheerful. But you can take any size, or not any size, but I guess you could take any size. But we want them to fit into our um, Stampin' Up! envelopes, you know. So this is your standard size card, and it's the vertical opening. So it opens up like this. So you can use this kind of a card, and you can use this card, which I wouldn't use this card because I had Sarah and Shelly sign it when I went out for my million dollar party. So, but you can use any card and make it into a pop-up card. Now, I did make this one that goes vertical. No, horizontal, sorry, horizontal. So, I'll show you what this one looks like here in a second, all right? So, but this is the card we're going to make today. It's so cute. So, you open it. Look, it's going to move up. Can you see it move? <laughs> Don't you love it? Oh, my gosh, I love it. So cute. And you can do that with any card. Seriously. So cute. All right. So I did do a little bit of, well, I did all the coloring. I did exactly this card. So we're going to put it together. I'm going to show you how to do these mechanisms on the inside to make that clever pop-up. Don't you love it? All right. Let me show you this one here. So now this is the one that I made for the video, but I didn't finish it until today. So I just made the card. So this one opens up the horizontal right so it opens up like this so you can make it either way and it's going to be super cute but look how they open up to the sides isn't that great so awesome so the pdf is listed down below and then also it will be on my blog tomorrow too all right so don't miss that pdf everything all the measurements and everything that we're using today is posted on there all right is that it? Is that all I got to do? And then we can start stamping, right? Is there any other questions before we get focusing on? <laughs> Yay. Yay for kidnapping. <laughs> That's funny. That's what my, I said. I told my husband when I kidnapped him one time, I said, hey, I'm going to kidnap you. He's like, okay. He said, I'm so excited. I said, well, I guess I can't kidnap you because you can't kidnap the willing. <laughs> So funny. Oh. Yeah, but I think this one's got a little road trip involved on our little kidnapping that he's going to do with me. So, but I'll give you guys all the updates next week on what we ended up doing. It's going to be a lot of fun no matter what. Oh, thank you. I just got them done yesterday. Aren't they pretty? The purple. They're like a, like a, almost like a lavender, but then she put this purple glittery on it and it made it like, so sparkly i love it all right but thank you thank you thank you ah thank you nicole i love seeing your name there too i wish i could see your guys's face seriously that would be so much more fun wouldn't it i think it would all right let's go ahead and get all our pieces for our card i got them all right here in this little envelope so the, the main idea for this card is to take any card and make the mechanism. So that's really what we're going to focus on. So I got the front of my card already done. I got all the inside pieces colored and stamped. Let me make sure I got four of them here. Yep, I got one, two, three, four. Yep, and then these pieces, I wanted to count them out here for you guys so you have all the measurements here. So let's get those out of the way. All right, so what you're going to start with is your base, and I'm using the basic gray. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. One thing you're going to use with this project is your bone folder a lot with that mechanism piece. And then you're going to use two pieces of your basic white. These are both cut at four by five and a quarter, and those are going to be for one on each of the inside. And then these are for the pop-up section right here for the inside. These two pieces of the basic gray with the elephants. These are both cut at, let me see here, what are these cut at? These are both cut at two and a half by four and a half. 
and you're going to score these. So I'm going to score those with you. And then this piece of, no, this is smoky slate. I think this is for the front. Yeah, three and a quarter by four and a half. And this is just going to go under here for the front. Okay, because I want to make it exactly like mine here. So you guys, so I can give this away at the end of the hour for the glitter spinner, all right? Yay. All right, so that's going to be for the front, but we're going to focus on the inside. And then you're going to need four pieces. These are cut at, let me make sure, because they're just a little bit different. You don't want to mess them up. Okay, these four are cut at two and one eighth by two and three eighths. And these are going to be for the elephants to stamp on or whatever. So these are what I've already went ahead and stamped on. So I went ahead and stamped the elephants. Aren't they cute? And then I said, what a happy day. That's in that stamp set too. Elephant parade. I'll show you that here in a second. So four of those. And then you're going to need four of the basic white. And these are for the mechanism. And these are both cut at, or these all four are cut at two by two and a half. All right. And we're going to score those too and fold them. All right. So who's making this card today with me? You guys got all your pieces cut out? Ah, oh, thank you. Who said that? The comments are rolling so fast. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Who said that? Ah, oh, thank you, Laura. Thank you. Do we get some Griffy time? You know, we got to see Griffy this weekend, but we didn't get that many pictures. And I actually didn't bring any over. But we can show a couple that I showed you guys last week. <laughs> I like this one of him. He's so cute. <laughs> There's Griffy. And then I like this one of him too. He's just so adorable. He's our little Griffy. So he's like 20 pounds now. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's going to be so tall, I bet you. Right? He's going to be so tall. All right. Did you guys see this one a few weeks ago when he was sitting in his height chair? He's so adorable. Yeah, so there's little Griffy. All right. So I had to show some old pictures because I didn't have any of the new ones over here. I forgot to bring them over. All right, so. Oh, that's what I was asking. Did anybody bring in your pieces to make the card today? I'm going to make it with you. Who said that? Yes, Nicole. <laughs> that's so awesome. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let the class begin, right? Okay, so let's grab our paper trimmer. We'll start there and score all our pieces. Let me get my stylus. All right. All right, so we're going to score these mechanism pieces. So now these are your two by two and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to score on the two inch side across the top at one inch. So we're just going to score them in half. Okay, so score it in half at one, and you're going to do this to all of them. One, making sure they're all cut at two, and then score it in half. Now, I'm only going to do a couple with you because I already got them done just to speed up the video a little bit today. All right, and then this one's two, yep. All right. So score them all at one. And then these two pieces of the basic gray, remember these are cut at two and a half by four and a half. We're going to score this in half at two and a quarter. And you should get two of these. Let me make sure. Four and a half, yep. By two and a half, yep. So two and a quarter, score it in half. Okay, that's it, right? Yeah. That is it. All right, let me go ahead and put my, you know what, I got to stamp. Let me stamp my mouse first so that I can put the, because I got so many pieces laying around here. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my mouse. Now, one thing with this card is that you want to stamp, if you're stamping anything on the inside, the only thing I stamped on the inside was the mouse right down here. And then I just stamped the happy birthday greeting, which I got right here. 
Okay, so because once you put it together, it's going to be kind of cumbersome to stamp on the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp my little mouse down here in the corner. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put this on the inside of our card. I'll color that in a little bit. Okay, I want to put my other piece of basic white on the inside. I don't think you really need to do this piece, but what this is is like a little guide to know where to put your mechanism pieces because um, I feel like when I made it in a solid color, it was kind of like hard to line everything up. And with the basic white in the center or in the inside of the card, it gives you like a guide. And you guys will see that here in a second, all right? All right, and then we're going to fold our pop-up pieces all right now we're going to make our mechanism so we're going to need a ruler and the stamp and pierce mat and a pencil there's a ruler all right yes this is going to be one of those cards you're going to have to mark with the pencil sorry all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to line up our edge here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Hold on. There we go. Let me move it up here, right? Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler. Now, we're going to mark on the two and a half inch side here, so on the long side. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark it at one, make a little pencil mark at one and one and a half, okay? Then I find that if you go up to the center and do the exact same thing there and make the pencil mark right on the score line. Remember we scored it at one inch, one and one and a half. And then also on this edge, do it at one and one and a half. Then if you want, now you don't have to, I'll do it with this one to show you what I'm talking about, but you guys can connect the dots or the pencil marks. Make your pencil mark go across like that, okay? So what you should have is like a half inch little section there, okay? All right, now we're gonna take our stylus. Well, I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and I'm gonna use the one end with the stylus because this has got a double tipped, small and a large tip. So I'm gonna use the small tip for my scoring. And what we're going to do, let me get my sample here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our corner points right here. So remember, this is the center score line. Let me fold that really quick with the bone folder. All right, so everybody can see the score line. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our corner point here, and we're going to score it down to that center point. That's why we put our pencil mark there. So we're going to take our ruler, we're going to make our pencil mark, or our score line, I should say, right there. And then do the other side the exact same way. Corner point to the pencil mark on the score line. Okay. And then this one, we're going to take the pencil mark on this side over here, this side right here, and take it down to the score line. So it should look like two arrows. See it coming together? Can you see it? I'll fold it here in a second. You guys can see it. Okay. So can you see that now? The two like arrows, one here and then one here. All right, so now we're going to erase our pencil marks. All right, now we're going to fold our score lines that we just made. So these two points are going to go up. Fold them together like that. And take your bone folder. This one I was saying about your bone folder is going to be really important with this card. Fold them like that. Now this one is going to go down. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold our point, and then we're going to finger press these going downward. 
like this. So then your fold should go down like this and then you can pinch your sides like that. Once again, use your bone folder and then that's it. So the idea for each piece, let me show you the card again so you guys can see what I'm saying. So for each piece that's moving on this card, you're going to need two of these arms. Okay. So since we have two of these pieces of the basic gray, we're going to need a total of four. So let's do another one. This is my center score line. Take your pencil and your ruler. Once again, we're going to line up a ruler at on the two and a half inch side. Going to mark it at one, one and a half, and then the center score line at the one inch. You're going to mark it at one, one and a half. Now this one I'm not going to draw the pencil line, so I can show you that you guys can do it without drawing the pencil line. But you'll still want to erase the pencil lines even though they're little, you know. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to score again from this point down to that center pencil mark on that score line. Do the other side. Okay, now we're gonna do the bottom section. We're gonna take our pencil mark here. Can you see that right here? We're going to score that down to the center score line. So I'm just taking the stylus and putting it right on that pencil mark. Okay. So there's my two arrows. Okay. Then this one is going to be folded up. Like that. You want to burnish those score lines really good. Okay. Now this one we're going to fold, like finger press it down. So it's going to be a mountain fold right there. Okay. And then once you get it bent, then it should go right into that shape that we want. Okay. Then use your bone folder and burnish all those edges really nice. Okay, so there's your other arm. So we have two. Do you want me to do another one? The recipe or the PDF is listed down below, Charlene. Okay? But we're just making the mechanisms right now. Do you want me to make another one? Can somebody let me know if you want me to make another one with you guys? Because you need a total of four, but I've already got them done. Oh, no. Hi, Gina. You only need the center dots, really. You know what? Oh, it is? <laughs> okay, Sharon. Well, you know what? I've done them all. But really, you need more because the, the outside one you need out to line up, I found. I mean, the center ones, you need the center ones. But all right, let me do one more with you guys. Okay. So we folded the, scored it in half at one inch. And we're going to, now, you know what? That's the best thing. You guys just got to do what you got to do, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like, this is what worked best for me. One and one and a half. And then again on the score line, one, one and a half. And then on the edge, one and one and a half. Okay. All right. Now let's get our stylist. So we're going to go from the point down to the center. From this side over here. Okay, then the bottom we're going to go from, see this point out here, Sharon, and we need this pencil line over here. I can't do it from the center. And then this one here. It's just easier for me to do them all, you know, but 
you know, once you get the hang of it, you guys can do whatever you want. Okay. All right. So there's my two arrows. Then these two are going to get folded up. Right. Where's my bone folder? Yep. Fold those up. And then fold these down. So this is going to be the mountain fold right here. Just finger press that. And then it should fall into place like that. Of course, you want to erase your pencil marks, which I'm going to do right now. Okay. All right, so then this is what it should look like. So this is the arm, right? Okay. Is everybody on the same page? Got it. Yes. All right. Good. All right. Now we get to put it together. Now there's a couple things you want to take note of here. So I'll just say when I made this card, I did not decorate these little panels yet because I found it to be way too confusing to um, try to keep that straight. As long as I put these in the right way, then after I'll put these inside of the cards. So then I know they're facing the right way. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to set these aside and we're just going to decorate the card. That's what I found to be easiest. Okay. So on two of your arms, let me get my liquid glue. All right, so when we put our card, so this is the way the card is going to open, right? Like this. So we're going to take our two arms, and we're going to focus not on these two sides here. These are the wings. We're going to call these the wings. We're going to set our card in between this little gap here, this little pinch. So it's going to sit into your card like this. So now here's the trick. This is considered going down. Right? And then look, when I flip it over, it's going to go up. So this is the difference with the inside of the card. You're going to want your, your arms to go up on the up and then point the two going down on the down. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> two going up on the up and two going down on the down. Wow, that's like really... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but what I'm seeing is here, see how this arm is going up? It's pointing up. Let me put this other one in here so you can see. Now, this one is going down. Do you see that? Do you see what I'm talking about? All right, so we're going to focus on making the one that's on the top going up. Because when you open up the card, the this part is going to go up, and then the bottom part is going to go down. So it all depends on this little mechanism here. So we want both of the arms to go up on the top piece. And it's just a matter of flipping it over. But we're only going to put glue on the inside of this little chomper piece right here. One moment, please. Got to get my glue up. Oh, geez, oh, Pete, it just blobbed out. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So only on the chomper piece, we're going to put our little bit of glue, both sides, okay? Making sure the up is going to go up. So see how this is going to go up? And you're just going to slide that right into that edge of the card, and you're going to press it down and then hold both of the edges down, just like that. With liquid glue, we got to give it a couple minutes, you know that. Remember, this is the open side, so this is the folded side back here, okay? And then also your wings are going down, pointing down, but this part is pointing up. Let's do the other one. I was trying to make it as simple as possible, and the only way I could explain it was up goes up. <laughs> Up goes up. Oh, see, now that one's going down. See, I don't want that. So we're just going to flip it over. It's super easy to catch it. 
and then that goes up. So these two should be facing the same way going up. Okay, up, up, up. If anything you will remember, going up is up and going down is down. <laughs> That's funny. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna do the down, the bottom piece. Remember, these went up the top like this. These ones are gonna go down like this. Same thing, I'm gonna put glue on the chomper part. And then our wings are gonna go up now. Okay, so see how our wings are facing up right here? And these ones are going down. But the most important thing you gotta remember is that the down piece, the bottom piece is going down. Okay, up is up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, that's gonna stick with you now, you'll know. Up is up, down is down. Right. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Now the second one. Down is down. Put glue on the chomper piece. You want to make sure it's going down. And if it doesn't, then just flip it over. It's no big deal. Okay. I hope I put glue. Yeah, I did. Okay. So then these wings are going up here. Okay, so that's how you're going to decipher on which piece goes into the card and how it goes in. Up is up, down is down. I know that sounds so silly, but really when you're putting all these pieces together, you got to keep it straight on your mind, you know. I got to get a napkin to wipe up my glue splotch right here. Blech. Because I know I'm going to put that card in that and I don't want it. All right, so here's my two pieces. Up is up, down is down. Let's get our card. Open this up. Oh, you know what? I better color this. Let's give that time to dry too. So let me just color my little mouse. I'm going to use my crumb cake. He's so cute over here. He's so little. And I'm sure this card will be a little bit extra for postage, like another ounce. But you guys know how I feel about it. I don't care. The card is worth it. And then I'm going to use my Petal Pink Light for the ears and his belly. Oh, and then i got to get the crumb cake again. i got to color the ground. I'm just going to add him a little bit of ground down here. Just like that. Isn't he cute? Look. So adorable. All right. Now, if there's any other stamping and you want to kind of measure out how this is all going to go in here, you could probably do that. But my thought is, is just have another panel of the basic white for the backside for stamping and, you know, signing or whatever. Because the inside is where all the magic is. All right, so what is it? Up is up, down is down. So here we go. We're going to put liquid glue on the back side. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our arrows here, our points. This is where the insides are going to help for the four by five and a quarter. So what we're going to do is we're going to line our points up just past that basic white. Not on the score line. Don't go on the score line because then it's going to be kind of hard to open up the card. But most important is you want to keep your basic gray piece lined up at the top of your basic white right here. See that? You want to keep this lined up right up here at the tippy tip top. And then you're just going to go right over top of that basic white on this edge. But not on the score line. Remember up is up. And we're going to put glue only on the back side of the wings. Only on the back side. Now, this is where I'm not putting the inside in of my, my elephants. Because if you put this in now, I mean, you're going to have to be worried about it being the right side, upside down, whatever. Just do all the decorating afterwards. I find that that's so much easier. All right, so we're going to line this up. This is where the glue is going to be very forgiving. 
So line that up with the score line, just off of the score line. And then line that up with the basic white right there. Okay, so now this is what it should look like. These wings aren't adhered yet, just the bottom. Okay, because see, like, look, if I had my elephants in there, it would be like worrying about them being upside right and down and all that, you know? Up is up, down is down. Okay. Now the bottom one, we're going to do the exact same way. Bottom facing down. Then take our glue, put it only on the wings on the back side. This time we're going to line our edge on our card with the bottom edge of the basic white down here. Bring that over. I just have it a smidge over the, can you see it? Yeah, you guys can see it. Right over that center piece. Not a lot, but it's not on the score line. You do not want to put that on the score line. Okay, so just hold that there. Don't use a lot of glue because then it will glue fast and because the fun part is putting the card together. Because now look, so when you open it, you can see how it's going to go up. Ooh, look how it does it. It goes up. See? And then this one comes down. I don't know if it's dry yet. This one comes down. See it? <laughs> so exciting. I love it. All right. Now to glue it to the, this side over here, we're just going to go ahead and put our glue only on the wings. Just a little bit of glue, not a lot. And we're going to fold this over at one time and seal that up. All right, so I'm just going to hold this here. Let me get a, what do I got? Oh, I got a punch. Let me put a punch on this. <clears throat> I can put a punch on that maybe just to hold that down. That would be good. How cute. It works. I, I didn't mess it up. Yes! Nicole, I knew you could do it. I knew it. All right, let's put our front together. So here, what I did for my elephant is I just, because let me show you the stamp set in the die. It's so cute. So this is, let me zoom out. Whoopsie. Okay, hold on. There we go. All right, so this is the stamp set Elephant Parade. And I just stamped the balloon a few times. So I made like a little cluster of balloons. So his trunk's holding them. Aren't, isn't he cute? And then I used the Balmy Blue Stampin' Blends. For the, the balloons. And then this is balmy blue. Let me give you the measurements of these pieces. So the balmy blue is two and a half by three and a half. And then this piece of basic white is cut at two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I just, you know, stamp the it's your birthday. And then this is gonna go. Well, this is the die too that I use for the cutting the elephants and the balloons out. So happy it has a die, aren't you? Look, they have little peanuts with the stamp look. Like little peanuts. <laughs> so cute. All right. So that's the stamp set. So now this smoky slate is cut at three and a quarter by four and a half. So I think I want to pop this up on dimensionals. Let me get my full size. This is just going to go on the front. I was kind of doing like a card sketch for the front because the magic is on the inside, you know. So I didn't want the front to be too elaborate, but it's still cute. You can emboss this or stamp on it, whatever. But it's just really cute. And then this is just going to go on the outside. Now let's see this card here. All right, let's see how it's going to work. Woo! It works so good. So the idea, too, is see how it gets tucked up inside? That's why we want to keep it under that basic white cardstock because then it will be hidden when it closes. See how it moves on the inside? And then it's really, <clears throat> it's really super easy to go ahead and put your pieces on your panels. Let me do that. 
And I'm just using the elephant for one of my little panels here. So you're just layering it on there. And then you know they're on there right. You know? I want this one. Yeah. Let's put this one on next. Over here. Wait a minute. Let me open this up here more. Hold on. One moment. Let me get this situated. All right. There we go. Then this one goes in. And then the greeting. Because there's four, you know, that's why the elephant set was so cute. I tried it with the pig one, but the pig, there were certain images were too big. So we're going to put this one right here. So cute. And then this one. Can open it up. Isn't it cute? Look how cute. And it closes up. And then I have my happy birthday. Now this is from the Happiness Abounds. I stamped the happy birthday right here. And then I cut that out. And I pen at the ends with my paper snips. Put this on dimensionals. And I'm just going to slide this right in between the elephants right here. Right there. And you want to make sure that it doesn't interfere when it's closing. So it doesn't. So it's good. And then this is going to go on the front. Ta-da! <laughs> We're going to put this on with the stamp and seal. That's it. You can take any card and do this. I'm going to show you the other one, too. Got some adhesive on that side there. So cute. Look how adorable. My little mouse. <laughs> so cute. All right, so there's that one. And then here's the other one. Okay, exact same card. And then here's the other one. Now this one I used the Simply Fabulous stamp set. I love the greetings. I love the flowers, too. So this is the one I use for this. Just saying hello. And then this one, I just stamped a bunch of the greetings from that stamp set. So there's one that says, there is beauty in everything. You are simply fabulous. Let's celebrate and for you. So, so you, you can see how it would work either way, horizontal or vertical. It moves and everything just like the other one does. Isn't that awesome? love it so cute and then the it's your it's your birthday on the front is <clears throat> from the this birthday piggy right here it's it's your birthday so i stamped that and then i put that on the front okay so those were all the stamps i used for that yay it's amazing thank you thank you susie it is amazing and it's actually pretty simple, right? To take any card and make it a pop-up card. That's what I love about it. Because you can, like my card sketch, we could do that with this card, you know? Turn it into a pop-up card. A double pop-up card. Also, you could do this with the single one, too, if you wanted. You don't have to do both of them. You can just do the one or the one on top. Just remember, whatever one you're doing, up goes up, down goes down. <laughs> right? That's the situation. You got to remember how to do it. That's it. Up goes up, down goes down. Because see how the arm, that's the way it moves. Because I'm sure if you flipped it around, it would like, one would go down and up and it would hit in the center. And that wouldn't be good. That's so cute. Love how we always want to incorporate the chicks. I know. The chicks are awesome. Oh, I got one more stamp set and die to give away one week. So we'll give those away here soon too. And then this was the bonus tutorial for this week too. So I used the elephants again. Isn't it cute? It's like a, 
a partial streamline. Easy peasy. Hi, Patricia. Too, too cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is. It's so, so cute. And the, the elephants make it, I think, cuter because there's an elephant on every, like, panel, you know? Because in the stamp set, yeah, in the stamp set, there's three elephants. And I could have stamped one with the mouse, but I thought he was cute on the inside. Amazing. My hubby says so, too. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. <laughs> Hi, Donna's hus hubby. Super cool. Thank you for sharing this tutorial, something I've never seen before. That's awesome, Nicole. You guys teach me stuff when you guys send me your cards, which I got some happy mail. I'm going to go through that, too. So just hang on. We got some happy mail, and then we want to do a glitter spinner, too. Elephants are adorable. Thank you. Love how we always want. To oh, okay. That's what, it, that, that, that's what Shauna said. Thank you, Shauna. Love, love, love it. All right. So let's go ahead and... Do you guys want to um, do my happy meal really quick? We kind of got done earlier, huh? But it's all right. All right, so let me go through some happy meal. I didn't get a chance to do it last week, so we got to get caught up. You know? Wait, let me make sure this is the one. Yeah. All right, so here's a card from Deb Dunson. She's thanking me for the, I believe it was for the stamps that she won, right? The, oh, the classic matte dot she won. Look at the cute ladybug. Isn't it cute? Thank you, Deb. <clears throat> then this beautiful card is from Tamara. She's on my team. Thank you, Tamara. I love the flowers. I love the ink. I love everything. The purple. Then this one is from Shelly Gardner. Congratulating me on a milestone. Thank you, Shelly, if you're watching, which I doubt she is. <laughs> And then this one is from Karen. She is thanking me for um, the... Oh, she won the My Set, too, a while ago on 3.30, so March 30th. So, yeah, Karen, thank you. You know what, Karen? I um, I didn't share this last week because it happened. I, I'm trying to remember. I think it happened on Friday. I fell down the stairs on Friday, and I've got a bruise like this big on my butt Whew. I fell down three stairs so um but I had your card in my hand and I didn't let go until the very end when my water went everywhere and oh my gosh so this got a little wet so it looks like it's a little warpy warped but <laughs> it still survived <laughs> <sighs> and then this one is from Brenda Oh, Brenda, look, she used the chicken. Isn't it cute? Little just chicken in. I remember this stamp set. You guys remember this stamp set? Just checking, checking, chicken in, just checking in. <laughs> so cute. So she is saying that she got the glossy dots. And she was pretty excited. So thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Yep, so those are my happy mail. Thank you, everybody. Yep, thank you, thank you. All right, let me go through here. I want to do a glitter giveaway here in a second. Yeah, my butt, yeah, it's pretty black and blue, and I got a big old bump on my butt, so, yeah. <clears throat> but it's all right. I still go to the gym and walk my couple miles, you know, so I'm doing good. It doesn't hurt, so it's just black and blue. Thank you, Jesus, right? All right, so let's do the card. You want to do the card? Let me get the card. And I got a couple other things to give you. Where did I put them at? Oh, right here. Okay, so I got some playing with patterns resin dots. Very cute. Got that fresh freesia in there. And then I have some rustic metallic adhesive back dots. Yay. All right, so let's go ahead and give these three items away. What do you say? You want to do that? Let me take this off. I'll bring over my iPad. 
One moment. Let me bring this over. All right. Yeah, I slipped. And you know what? I never wear socks coming downstairs. I always wear either flip-flops or my tennis shoes, but I had a pair of socks on and our carpet is slippery coming down the stairs. And I should have known better. But, of course, my left foot slipped. And, yeah, that's the side that I fell down on, on my left side. And holy moly. I'm, I've been taking pictures of it. It seems like the first couple days it was just a bump, you know. And then all of a sudden, then the bruising started coming out. So now it's, like, really, really dark. But, you know, that's just the phases of the bruise. So it'll, it'll be all right. I would show you, but <laughs> it's my ugly butt. That's not a pretty picture for sure. All right, let me get my little stylist here and my drum roll. All right, so let's do the card first. What do you say? We'll give this card away. Yay. Let me do my drum roll. Drum roll. But thank you for your prayers. Keep them coming for my butt. Thank you. Okay, the card is going to go to... Pia! Woo -woo. Pia, I got your address. Congratulations. She got the card. Yay. And then Richard is, um, I think last weekend was his first weekend back to like eight hours, which is like such a blessing, let me tell you. So he did a lot of work around the house. He had a... Um, so the situation with our backyard, it's not actually our backyard. It's like we're kitty corner from a school, a private school, and they're putting in a state of the art, um, soccer field. And it's like ginormous. And they have this big equipment, these big rollers back there. And so they had our property line, the way it was going to be mapped out and, holy cow we had to get like some stuff off of the property line before they took down the trees and everything so holy moly so he was doing that and then he pulled up some um he put up some curtains on our back porch it looks so like it looks like a cabana back there it looks so beautiful but we got to get new hooks when we get the new hooks and everything i'll take pictures of it and show you guys okay so pia i got your card here i'm going to send that out tomorrow yay so, and then yesterday he got all the, you know, the weeds and stuff from behind our pool. We have like, um, just dead stuff. So he pulled all that up and got it out in garbage today. So he, he's been busy and then tonight he's going to cut the grass. So, but, um, I'm just so thankful that he's off those seven tens. Cause it was like, it was tough. I hated it and I'm not going to complain about it, but I, I'm telling you now that I didn't like it. I just felt like he came home and then, I mean, we would seriously go to bed at 8 o'clock at night. I mean, we're still not quite on the old schedule because he's still getting, we're still getting up at 4.30 in the morning and then he's out the door by 5. So, um, so yeah, we're still in bed pretty early, like 8.30, 8 o'clock. But still, I felt like when he was working all those hours, he wasn't even getting home until like 7.00. And then eating. And I even told Richard towards the end, I was just like, I'm not eating anymore. I feel like it's defeating my purpose. I've been going to the gym and doing really good with my carnivore and fasting. And I feel like I can't eat an hour before I go to bed. So I said, I'm not eating anything after 2 o'clock. So he come home and, you know, he I'd make him something for him to eat. But yeah, so he'd come home, we'd go to bed. That was it. I wasn't even seeing them. All right, let's do the playing with dots. But now it's like, I feel like it's back on track. And then he's going on his hokahe. You guys know the hokahe. If you guys have been following me for very long, Richard does this hokahe ride. The hokahe is every other year now. So they skipped last year. Well, they skipped actually the last couple years because of the, you know, the COVID thing. So, um... He's doing it one more time this year. 
So then uh, he's leaving for that, I think, in June sometime. So um, he'll be gone for a couple weeks at least. But he'll have like a tracker on his bike so we can track him. For all of you that like to track him on the Hokahe, he'll have that again. So, but he's excited about that. So I feel like this little getaway that we're going to, it feels like we're getting back on track as far as like, you know, our life kind of, sort of. It's not that it was off track. You guys know how it is. Those of you that have husbands that work late, hours and all that it's kind of crazy all right let's do it see i was just giving you guys time to leave a comment to win <laughs> right renee you got the playing with patterns yay renee you got it i got your address all right, so let me put that on there. I'll go through the winners here in a second to remind you who all won, all right? So now we got the Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots. <laughs> Bass. Oh, wait, let me give a, an applause for Renee. Yay! Oh, you're lucky to get to bed by midnight? Yeah, those were the days. I mean, I remember Richard and I would try to go to bed by 10 before but now i mean he's we're up so early i mean it's just like it's pitch black out it's like you know nobody's up but um all right let's do the drum roll this is for the metallic dots but his job at the chrysler plant where they were putting new lights in diana <laughs> I got your address too. <laughs> what are the odds of all that? See, once you win a glitter giveaway or a glitter spinner, I have your address. So then you, if you win, I'll just automatically send it. You don't have to email me unless you've moved. You know? Yay! Diana! Woohoo! So, um, what was I saying? I saying about something about um oh being to bed by 10 yeah but I think oh his job at Chrysler so he you know because my husband's an electrician so he's um he, he they had a shutdown at the Chrysler plant on Jefferson way 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 down in Detroit so um they had a shutdown for two months so that's why he had to put in so many hours because they were putting new lights in where they paint the automobiles which is like amazing i said i want lights like that in my studio <laughs> they were so awesome but they were so bright and they're oh my gosh they were amazing but um it was a big job so they got it done and now that they're done they got to put Richard somewhere else so I don't know where he's going to go so we're hoping and praying that he's coming up here towards us so it's not like that far of a drive away so if any of you guys like to pray we can have an extra prayer for Richard get a job that's closer to home that would be great hopefully Richard has the hell yeah he's kidnapping me this weekend Diana <laughs> he's taking me somewhere because of all this stuff, you know, the weekend or all the hours he's put in, it feels like we just want to get away for a little bit. So we're going to go away for Memorial Day weekend. We're leaving Thursday and then we're coming back Sunday. So not very long, but we'll be back. I'll be here next week. No worries. All right, so let me go through the winners. So we, the card is going to Pia. We had Jean won the Garden Gems. These are gorgeous. So, Jean, I think I need your address. Here, let me put my ad, my email address. This is my email. Dawn at the glitter pit dot com. Sing it, girls. I got my backup singers, right? And then we have Diana won the rustic metallic adhesive back dots, which are awesome. And then Renee won the playing with patterns resin dots. So we had, like, lots of good winners, right? Yay! All right, let me put this back on picture and picture. All right, so let me go ahead and go through the comments really quick. Can't wait to see all your 
pictures of my back porch. Yeah, seriously, it looks so good. He, um, we bought these like, um, I really was expecting these curtains to be like, um, heavy and, um, cause they're waterproof, you know, they're like weather resistant or whatever. We got them on Amazon, but they were, um, they're so light and flowy, but, uh, we ended up getting six pairs of curtains because of the distances around our back porch. So he got them up, but now we need the hooks, you know, to hit, hook them up and like keep them out of our way. But it's so like, it seems like so tropical with the, like a little cabana room. It's so cute. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take a picture. And then he put lights up too for me. So it looks really cute and cute and pizzazzy. You have to sing your congratulations. 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 <laughs> yeah. You know you want me. You know you love me. Yeah, that was from the um Sandra Bullock movie. That's what I always think of. I can't remember the name of it. You guys know. <laughs> right? <sighs> All right. Let's go through some comments here. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed at that time, and I used to be just getting started. I was much younger, too. Oh, I know. I know, Mary. Well, we figure we got about eight more years till he can retire, and then we're going to be snowbirds. We're going to go down somewhere else. We're going to be away for the winter and come back for the summer. Um... That would be so much better, right? Yes. Last time I was on, he was in, he was at the hospital. Boy, have I been gone for that long? No, 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 Gladys. He was at the hospital for um. Yeah, they had to shut down there too. They were building up a new hospital area on or a wing or something. So he got transferred from there to the Jefferson plant. So. Yeah, it's just like this last year he's just been being put around because they all know my husband is a hard worker and he gets stuff done. So, and they put him on jobs that need like a time limit to get stuff done. He gets it done and then they put him somewhere else. So, but the job we're really hoping for is over here at the Orion plant where they do the um, GMC trucks. And it's like, I think he said it's like a year job or maybe it's a two-year job. And that would be awesome. That's like 10 minute drive for us instead of like an hour and 20 minutes. That would be so awesome. I wouldn't expect him to come home for lunch or anything, but still it'd be so nice to, you know, he gets off at four, he'll be home by 4.15. That would be awesome. And then he's not putting so many miles on his truck too. I love getting away with my hubby too. I know, in the, the solid two months, I felt like, you know, I don't know. He's just always coming home and he was so tired, which I'm not blaming him. But, I mean, I would be too, and I was. No, we're not going on the bike because of my butt. <laughs> my butt is so bruised. And I got a big old bump on my butt. I would say I'm like. Working out so hard, I'm building my, my glutes and my butt muscles, but that ain't it. <laughs> it's a bump. But it's kind of like, it, it's itching really, really bad now. Last night I went to bed and I was like, oh my gosh, my butt is itching. <laughs> that sounds really bad if somebody's coming in now, but it's because of my bruise. Yeah. So, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Laura, for praying for him and his new job. Yeah, so, um, yeah, last time. Okay, so, yeah, I seen that. All right. Your nails are back to purple. Very nice. Thank you, Norelda. Yeah, and they're very sparkly. Look, can you see them how sparkly they are? Let me get them up here. Ooh, they're so pretty. Aren't they pretty? This is actually like a lavender, like my cup. Let me close this up before I spill it. This is more like my lavender. But when she put this sparkle on there, it like really made them purpley. Like, but it's really pretty. I couldn't tell you the color. I forgot what the color is, but yeah, I was really wanting sparkle now. 
Even though it doesn't feel like summer out, it's more like fall. Miss Congeniality, yes. <laughs> yes, that's it. Thank you. Yes. Can I see the inside of the card? Sure. So this is what I'm calling, it's the elephant double pop-up moving card. Let me take that off there. Hold on. Where did it go? There it is. So this is the front and then you open it and see how it moves. So when you watch the replay, also I have a cleaner version or a condensed version video posted on my website tomorrow and then I'll, I'll make it go live maybe on the weekend or something, but um, it will only be on my blog tomorrow. Well, it'll be on my blog starting tomorrow, I should say, the shorter version of today's card or today's video. But then I'll also have the replay and that will be live and ready to replay once we get off here. Yep, that's the inside. You became a new grandma? Well, great grandma. My grandson and his wife just had a baby girl two days ago. She is adorable. Oh my gosh, congratulations, Diana. That's awesome. <laughs> That's why, because whenever I say congratulations to the winners, I always say, congratulations, congratulations. And that always makes me think of that. When she's talking to that guy and she's like, you know, you want me, you know, you love me. That's what I think about when I sing that. You can't claim mileage on income tax. LOL. I do. I claim my mileage. Who said that? Great card. Thank you. Thank you, Norelda. It would help with the gas prices too oh yeah but you know what we're gonna live our life right we gotta live our best life and i know the gas prices are crazy but what are you gonna do you're too funny <laughs> gonna miss next week unless you are on amish internet no is there such a thing Amish internet? I don't know what that is. But I'll be here next Wednesday, 3 o'clock Eastern. I'll be here, same glitter time. Same glitter station. I know. Oh, you guys are talking about the gas prices for my hubby to go to work. Yeah, he's driving like an hour and 20 minutes now. There and an hour and 20 minutes back. So, um. I fell down the last three steps of my stairs on Friday last week. Yep, I did it. I fell backwards and slid down the stairs, and man, let me tell you, it hurt. But um, I've been going to the gym every single day at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going still with it, so it doesn't hurt. It just looks terribly ugly. So we'll see. The measurements in the balmy blue and the PF. Yes, in the PDF. Yeah, the balmy blue is two and a half by three and a half. It will be right here on the PDF. Let me show you on this one here. Yep. Just a simple front of the card. So, yep. The balmy blue is two and a half by three and a half. And then the basic white is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Then the smoky slate is three and a quarter by four and a half. And this PDF is listed down below in the description box below today's live stream. Also will be on my website tomorrow. Okay. And then also don't forget to go to my website tomorrow for the glitter giveaway. I'm going to give away these two stamp sets. Mischievous Mice. Here, let me take that off there. Mischievous Mice, which is a hostess only item, which is in the January through June mini catalog right now until the end of June. You get this with um you can get this with the $150 order. So you can get this free with my glitter giveaway. And then Eden's Garden. I think this was with that Garden's Gem, that sweet, wasn't it? Or was this with the ocean? 
No, I think it was with this. Yeah, I found them both, but I didn't know. I didn't realize they were together, but yeah. So, um, Eden's Garden. Now, this is also still available in the new annual catalog, and it also has coordinating dies, but I didn't have an extra die. But this one will be retiring at the end of June. It's very cute with the mice. I have a few videos on the mice cards, too, if you want to check that out. Hey, also, if you guys can give me a thumbs up for today's video, that would be great. And also, subscribe if you're new to the Glitter Pit. This is my YouTube channel, Dawn Stamping Thoughts, here on YouTube. Excuse me on YouTube and if you want to subscribe so you'll miss you won't miss all my upcoming videos I try to be here live every Wednesday at 3 o'clock We used to be live on Facebook, but now we switched it over to YouTube So we'll be here live every Wednesday at 3 o'clock and then visit my blog tomorrow And you'll have a chance to win one of those two stamp sets. All right Yay, oh my god great card. Thank you gay Yep, so the PDF is listed down below, okay? I'd love any stamp set. Aw, Donna, that's so nice. Amish internet, my family wouldn't do well with Amish internet. <laughs> you know what? We have an amazing demonstrator. Her name is Mary Byler, I think it is. Mary Ellen Byler. She's Amish and she's a demonstrator and she does all her um all her demonstrator work all at a library. So she doesn't do anything on internet. And it's like talking to her when we used to go to Founder Circle and stuff. We used to, you know, kind of pick her brain on how she would get like to workshops and, you know, do newsletters and stuff because, you know, they don't have internet. So um, her brother, I guess, took her by horse and buggy to the workshops and took her catalogs. <laughs> it's just so amazing. And she's like a successful demonstrator too. So yeah, so there is such a thing as a, a Amish demonstrator. 126 are hitting the button. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. That helps spread the word. And then you can also share the video too if you want. I didn't want to push my luck. But yeah, if you want to share it with your friends, more the merrier. I do these videos for free. So if you can share it with just one person, that would be awesome. My phone has been receiving... What? My phone has been receiving late, but today was on time. Oh, the message for us to go live? Oh, you know Mary Ellen? Yes, she is awesome. She's so funny. That girl is like a comedian. St. George, Utah, are you going? No, I'm not going. I'm not going. Uh, see you tomorrow and next Wednesday. Yes, she will, Donna. Donna's a glitter queen. She's on my team. So she's saying that she'll see me tomorrow. So I just wanted to say that so you guys didn't think you were missing out. I'm going live somewhere that you weren't knowing about. So, yeah, I go live with my team on Thursdays at 3 o'clock. Okay, can't wait till next week and another. Yeah, I've already filmed the video and I've already got the card designed for next week. Since I'm going to be gone all weekend, that's going to be out of my office. So it's taking up time away from, you know, me stamping. So I've already... Um, picked up the card we're making and we're going to stamp it. And I've already got a video done, but I'm going to go live making the card too. So you guys know on two for Thursdays, we have two videos. So I'm trying to get back in that. So the, um, the video is already done and ready to go. I just didn't, I knew I wouldn't have enough time to get it done before I went on vacation with my husband this weekend. So I still need to know. How, okay. So this is how you go in. If you go to my YouTube channel, and you're going to see, I think it's videos right above. Like if you um, go to my channel and then there's like a little welcome video. And if there's no welcome video, that means you subscribed. And then right above all the videos that are shown in the boxes, there's like a little video box. Like it's like narrow like this. Click on that. It won't show now because we're already live. But if you click on that, it will show upcoming live stream. And then you click on that and it will take you right to the screen. And then you just scroll down to the live chat and then you can see that. So try it next week because we go in there early. I wasn't in early like I have been the last few weeks, but um, 
I try to go in there like 10 minutes early just to chit chat with you guys. But it's so fun. I love it when you guys are in there chit chatting. That's so great. I didn't even know you guys could do it until one day I was like, where are all these comments coming from? You guys are going in early? But that's how you do it. Unless somebody else knows an easier way, I don't know. That's the way it worked out for me. Does anybody else want to share how you get in there early? That's the only way I figured it out, how to do it. I don't know. Yes, everything's all right, Norelda. Thank you. But you can pray for my butt, my left butt cheek, and like right above my... um getting a little TMI here, but like right below my back, like my right above my butt crack, I guess there's a bruise. There's a bruise on my leg. And then there's a big bruise on my butt cheek. So, but I think I'm over the hump now. So it's, it's going to start turning green and yellow here shortly. Thank you. All right, everybody, you guys all have a safe and happy Memorial Day weekend. I don't know what's all going on around here. I guess we're not going to be here. We're going out of town, out of town. So I'm assuming it's out of state. But I'll give you all the deets next week. We'll have a little chit chat about that. And I'll take some pictures wherever we're going. All right. I just said, honey, wherever we go, we can't go very far. Because I don't think I could sit in the car for very long with my butt. <laughs> Because he did say, do you want to ride the motorcycle or drive the car? I said, we're definitely driving, but not hopefully not too far. He said, okay. So he got the hotel and everything. So he hooked us up. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, my little left butt. It's not little, but my butt left butt cheat. Yes. Seriously, I can move so good and I can walk and sit. And, you know, when I lay down at night in the bed, it's kind of like, you know, the bump. But all right. I'll see you guys next week. I love you guys.